Liz, what you doing? We found this videotape in the closet. Question mark Hamilton? Mm -hmm. Uh, Rodney, can they see this? Yeah, that's when Jack was first born. It's Hamilton on Hamilton, you don't want him seeing. <laughs> Jack, you can see yourself when you're just a couple of days old. Okay, here we are. We're coming home for the first time. That doesn't look like our house. Well, back then, your mom and I lived in a little bitty trailer. That was back in the 90s. Houses hadn't even been invented yet. <laughs> Hold him steady so I can see his face. Well, I'm trying to, but his head is so wobbly. Is it supposed to be like that? I don't know, Trina, but hold him still because he's screwing up the autofocus. <laughs> Say hi to your new home, George. George? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said this was me. It is you. So my name's really George. George. <laughs> your name's not George. Just keep watching. Okay, here. Let me get let me get a shot of you holding it. Okay. Okay, here. Take the camera. Okay. Careful. Real careful. Careful. Don't don't oh. drop the camera. Oh. oh, here. Drop the baby. Wait. I would never drop little Sam. <laughs> hey. Sam. See, your mom and I had not come up with a name for you yet. You mean I was already here and you didn't know what to call me? Well, we were kind of busy, buddy. It's just picking out a name. What were you guys doing? Well, there's a lot to do when a couple finds out they're having a baby. You gotta find a doctor, there's a wedding to plan. <laughs> and then before we knew it, we were rushing down to the hospital. What do you think about Tim? Uh, no, but I go for Tom. Yeah. Hey, we need a room, please. We're having a baby. Okay, how are you feeling? Surprisingly good. I drove like a madman to get here. I hit just about every light. <laughs> Come to think of it, my heart is racing a little. <laughs> Ma'am, how are you feeling? Uh, well, I'm a little uncomfortable because I'm a week overdue and I need this baby to come out of me so my boobs will stop growing. <laughs> Aren't they spectacular? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Uh, have a seat. We'll start the paperwork. Okay. Patient's name? Trina Hamilton. Does she have a middle name? Uh, middle name. Uh, Trina? Oh, Elizabeth. That's nice. <laughs> it's Elizabeth. Okay. Is she on any medication? She's not on a pill, I can tell you that. <laughs> Is this her first pregnancy? Uh, yes. Wait, uh, Trina. <laughs> Maybe it'd be best if I waited till the husband got here. I'm the husband. No. Oh, he really is. See, we've only been married for like six and a half months, but we were gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get married, that yeah. is, it's just sort of spent things long. He's a really great guy, I'm really very happy. <laughs> Do you have insurance? Well, I'm a comedian. I work gig to gig, and uh, uh, it's okay. It's not steady. I'm on the verge of breaking out. Everyone says you can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be a no on the insurance? Yes, ma'am. Date of birth? We're hoping for today. I meant your wife's birthday? Uh, uh... Don't do this. Uh, September 14th? Ah! <laughs> I got one. <laughs> As soon as I could. Oh, you brought balloons. That's so sweet. Yeah, they're just tied to this wheelchair in the hall. Hey, Charlie, here. You mind helping with this paperwork? Uh, She's Trina's sister. She, she knows her a lot better than I do. There are people in drawers in the basement that know her a lot better than you do. Uh, Rodney, I'm hungry. Do you have any candy? Uh, I'll go to a vending machine. Okay. Hey, you got any change? Oh, just break a dollar. Okay. Do you have a dollar? No, I don't have any bills. Bill? How about Bill Hamilton? No. Why? No. <laughs> so, you still haven't picked out a name yet? No, and I don't think we ever will. Oh, <laughs> sweetie, you just relax. You're just hormonal. No, I am not. Or... That is a cute dress. Is that new? <laughs> yeah, actually it is. I'll just oh, go. God, Charlie, what if we never pick out a name? I don't know what he likes and he doesn't know what I like. And we don't know anything. Oh, sweetie, of course you know each other. They really don't. Charlie, we really don't. We've been together for less than a year. I'm still hiding some things from him. What kinds of things? Well, he doesn't know I go to the bathroom. What? You know how you gave me a key to your apartment for emergencies? 
I have been going over there every day at 10.30 after my coffee. <sighs> I'd kill to be that regular. There's other things, too. I, I, I don't blow my nose in front of him. He's never seen my toes without polish. I'm still wearing makeup to bed. Ronnie has never even seen the real me. Sweetie, pretty soon he's gonna see you give birth, and I don't think they let you put makeup on down there. Here you go, honey. Yeah. Coconut? Yeah, you love coconut. I'm allergic to coconut. Oh, allergic, huh? Yeah. I knew it was something with coconut. <laughs> oh. I'm not allergic. Jack, your dad and I were still sort of trying to get to know each other when you were born. Ah, oh, so it's okay to marry a stranger, but not to talk to one? <laughs> when is this story going to be about me? It's all about you. And how come I'm not in it? You were in it. You were right in here. And you were not ready to come out yet. Do you know how much that false labor cost us? 175 bucks. I'm telling you, Trina, that's the business we ought to get into. Hospital running. <laughs> Probably got to know somebody. I poop. What? I poop. Every day, sometimes twice. I've been, uh, I've been going over to Charlie's. Well, that's a relief. I gotta tell you, I was wondering whether or not that was really a baby you had in there. <laughs> Why would you hide something like that? I didn't want to ruin your impression of me. I mean, that's crazy. I love everything about you. Hey, where's my new grandson? Except him. <laughs> so what happened? Where's my little Carl? It's a false alarm, Daddy. The doctor says the baby's not ready to come out yet. And it's not gonna be named Carl. Well, I suppose you got something better. Yeah, not Carl. <laughs> Daddy, thank you so much for the crib. <laughs> You're welcome. I just thought my little grandson deserved something better than a dresser drawer to sleep in. Well, that's where the joke's on you, Carl, because we don't have a dresser. <laughs> you know something, Trina? Mm -hmm. You'd have a whole lot more nice things if you'd just let Walter, the parts vendor, have another chance. You know, even with a bun in the oven and the, the way you're spreading out back there, <laughs> he still asks about you. She's not dating the parts vendor. She's married to me and we're having a baby and I can take care of him just fine. You can't even afford a crib, jackass. That ain't fine in my book. You know, kids need stuff. What, are you gonna tell jokes for shoes? Look, Carl, I'm this close to making it big, Carl. Everyone says you can feel it. <laughs> Y'all just call me when little Carl pops out, okay? okay? He's not gonna be named Carl. <laughs> He's not gonna be named Carl. How long have you been drinking out of the carton? This carton? Three days. <laughs> I've never noticed you do that before. That's nothing. You don't see me open up a pickle jar with my armpit? Honey, do you ever worry that maybe we don't know each other well enough to be having a baby? Would you stop letting your dad get inside your head? Everything's gonna be fine. In fact, the sooner we get the baby out, the better. We just gotta figure out a way to speed this thing along. Well, the, um, the doctor said I could exercise or, um, or we could have sex. Well, Trina, we can't afford another pregnancy right now. We'll just, let's just get some exercise. Oh my God, you're not attracted to me. No, 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 no. Listen, it's just that I'm not looking at you like that right now because you're, you're going to be a mama and I just feel like I need to protect you. I'm always going to be a mama. You're never going to want to have sex with me again. No, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. How about Donnie? What? Yeah, for the baby. I like Donnie. <sighs> not short for Donald, just Donnie. Well, I... Oh my God, you ain't Donnie, you ain't a baby! I love all your names and all your personalities. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Okay. This is going to be great. Wait a minute, Bonnie, this is a private golf course. We can't just sneak in. Yeah, we can. Me and Barry do it all the time. It's going to be great. All right, listen. Here. Uh, all right, we gotta work together here. Ready? On three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh! oh. All right. Oh. All right, this ain't working. No. All right. 
I'm gonna have to get under this load. Please call me Trina. I'm impressed, honey. I didn't think you were gonna make it over that creek. Rodney? Trina? Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We're just gonna try to jiggle that baby loose. I suggested that we have sex. Well, do you mind if I finish hitting that bucket of balls first? No, we're just gonna get some exercise. Here, honey. Come over here. Whack away. Rodney, I don't golf. You don't? Have you ever heard me talk about golf? Well, no, but I never heard you talk about fishing either when you do that. No, I don't. You don't? No. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a walk. Okay, well, had a girl. Walk till he drops. <laughs> you want me to go with you? No, that's okay. Okay. Here, take these. Get some balls while you're out there. Stay on that side, because we're gonna hit over here. Just stay to the left, okay? <laughs> Well, that is one special lady you got there. Don't I know it, Barry. I love her to death, but I'm gonna tell you something. She's been acting awful damn crazy. And I'm not talking about cute crazy. I'm talking about hide the knives crazy. <laughs> Buddy, that's just the hormones talking. I mean, what's she like when she's on, you know, that time of the month? I don't know. I've never seen her that time of the month. She got pregnant too fast. You really are flying blind, aren't you? <laughs> You don't know what that means, honey, Doc! Yeah, Rodney! <laughs> that was Barry! I think you kind of came over the top of that one. Yeah, too much right hand. <laughs> How much do kids' shoes cost? Well, 10 or 12 bucks, I guess. Why are you asking? Well, I'm starting to worry. It's not about just shoes. I mean, it's about toys and clothes. Hell, I got a doctor's bill and the baby's not even here yet. Oh, buddy, it's going to be fine. How do you know that, man? I've been putting up a good front to train her, but the truth is, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, man, I felt the same way. But of course, now I had my own business, and Jeannie had her inheritance. You're not really helping, Bear. Oh, and my dad helped us buy a house. Are you through, or do you have a lottery story you'd like to tell me about? Freeze! Sheriff's Department! Well, 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 what have we here? Looks like I caught myself a couple of breakers and introverts. Well, Jerry Bob, look at you. You made it through the academy. Yep. It's my first day on the force. I can see that by the creases in your brand new shirt. Looks like little boobies right there and right there. I wouldn't do that. Because when you mock me, you mock the covenant that binds us as a society. The law. <laughs> Evening, Trina. You're looking radiant, like a berry filled up with purdy juice. Okay, honey, it's time. You sure? Because the last time you... It's time! You know, Trina, the way you stepped out of the woods just now, the moonbeams dancing around you... Jump up, quit that. flirting. We're having a baby. Buddy, we better get her to the hospital. Yes. Oh, not so fast. You're still arrested. She can go to the hospital, but you two are oh. coming down to the station with me. Out of my way, we're going to the hospital. Oh, no, you are not. Cheryl Bob, would you... <laughs> hey! Cheryl <laughs> Bob! Here! Come on, boys, break it up. Come on, Cheryl! Cheryl Bob, quit pinching. Come on, let me... Excuse me, guys. Do not resist. Do not resist. Now. I don't think I'm going to make it to the hospital. Oh. Okay, you're okay. You okay? I'm okay. Okay. Honey? Don't ask me if I'm okay. Okay. Is she okay? She's okay. <laughs> Gerald Bob, are you crying? No. It's just that I spent 10th through 12th grade trying to peek up your dress. This is a bittersweet moment for me. Barry, where's the ambulance? Oh, it's on its way. Call it. I think this baby's gonna get here first. Okay, you're gonna have to push. 
Uh, Rodney, I don't think I can do this. No, you can do this. Honey, just try. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. You fellas need some light? Oh, great, thanks. Who are you? My name's Gus. Heard he needed some help over my CB. Well, thanks, but we don't need a crowd. Hey, Gus. Aaron. What the hell? How's she doing? Fully dilated, already pushing. Oh! I was just explaining to your buddy here that I'd like to keep this kind of small. Hey, sorry you know? I'm late. I'll pull through a drive-thru and gutter some ice chips. Oh, for God's sakes, man, get over here and help. Oh, no, buddy. If you need anything at this end of the truck, I'm here for you. But down there is your wife's intimate domain, and none of us need for me to see that. Hi. Oh, hey, man. How are you? What's going on here? Okay, guys, uh, anybody who doesn't need to be here, clear out. Oh, well, I got the light. Well, I got eyes. Well, I'm a certified doula. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is either, but his voice is really soothing. <laughs> okay, honey. Well, look, they, they all have jobs, so, so everything's fine, okay? No, everything is not fine, Rodney. I'm having a baby in the back of a truck. A truck, Rodney! A truck! <laughs> Track. See, I told you she was crazy. I am not crazy. I am seeing things for how they are, okay? We did everything backwards. We met, we got pregnant, we got married, and now we're having a baby, and you don't know anything about me. I know you poop at your sisters. What is wrong with you? Why are you worried? I am worried. I'm worried sick. Look, I don't know if we can pay the bills. I don't even know if we're going to be good parents. The only reason I've been keeping it together is because I didn't want you to freak out. Well, guess what? what? I am freaking out. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Rodney? What's he doing? I don't know. Maybe he's overwhelmed with the miracle of life. <laughs> Here. Oh, Here. Piglet. Oh, my Piglet. Oh, how did you know? You told me. I did? Yeah. On our third date, when we were over at your place, you asked me to come in your bedroom so you could show me your piglet. <laughs> then after I got over my initial disappointment, <laughs> told me how much it meant to you, and I, I just figured you might want it right now. You've been holding out on me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, honey, mm -hmm. I know we don't know each other that well. But I love you and little no name here. And I can tell you I'm always gonna take care of you. Promise? I promise. Okay. God, your boobs look spectacular. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay. I think I need to push. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Huh. Oh God. Uh. Oh. oh my god, he's coming! He's really coming! So we took you to the hospital, we got you checked out, brought you home, named you Jack, and the rest is history. But I still don't know how I got my name. Can we tell him? Well, I guess he's old enough to know, both sleeping, so. All right, so we got back to the trailer and we were still arguing over what we were going to call you. Here, wait. Let me get a shot of you. Okay. Okay. Here. Careful. 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 Don't drop the camera. Don't drop the baby. I would never drop little Sam. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be called Sam. Hello, hello. Hey, I brought the baby some candy. <laughs> Charlie, he's a newborn, okay? He doesn't eat candy. I know. I just want him to like me. See, he would have liked me if I would have been at the hospital for the birth, you know? We would have had that bond. But now I'm just going to be his crazy aunt who gives him his first beer and who accidentally walks to the pool without my top on in front of his friends. Can I hold him? Okay. <laughs> Careful. Oh, they can't hold that. What's his name? Well, we haven't decided on that yet. Yeah, we've just been trying names out till he responds to one. Isn't that right, Georgie? <laughs> Georgie, 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 Georgie. Nothing. 
Okay, but little man, this is the name you're really gonna love. Sam. Sammy Sam. Lock up your daughters, because here comes Sam. Nothing. <laughs> Where's my grandson? My Out of the way, jackass. Did you hear that? It was gas. <laughs> He's a cutie pie, all right. You've done great, darling. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. You know, I might have had something to do with that, too, Carl. <laughs> all right, then you did good, too, jackass. <laughs> you gotta be kidding no me. No way. <laughs> Brad? Casey? Jackass. First word? Well, well, just the first half of one. You gonna be okay? That is so cool! So my middle name is... So you don't have a middle name? <laughs> I gotta go call my friends. Well, I guess it wasn't gas. He still seems to like it. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, let's go. Come on, time for bed. What happened? How'd Jack get his name? Oh, my favorite book, Jack and the Beanstalk. Mm -hmm. Jack and the Beanstalk. That's not what Grandpa Carl told me. Okay, good night. It's time to bed. Heavenly.